You're, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Devon. And welcome back to my channel, Close Down. Now you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title, you know why you're here. If you're new here, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, take a moment, moment taken, cool. We are here back with another styling video and we are gonna style these holy grails. These holy grails, the Olympic sixes. Oh yes, oh yes, these beautiful things, yes. Um, they originally came out in 2000 for the Olympics, Ray Allen and Vin Baker wore these. Um, then they came back out in 2012 as a retro, I missed them. And they just retroed again, 2024 for the Olympics. I had to get my hands on these. These are classic, love these sixes. The leather is beautiful. I just love the accent red. <sighs> had to get them. So I had to show you how to style these, how I style these. Because I like to style them, you know, as a grown man. Now I've seen a couple of videos out there and shout out to them, dope content. Shout out to all the content creators. It wasn't enough though, like I, I needed more. Like these babies need more love. So I figured even though I'm a couple weeks late, I put out a video. And I want to style them in a grown man way because I mean, come on, I'm in my late thirties. So I, I, I still can wear Jordans. I know a lot of people used to get older, start wearing Jordans. I'm gonna show you how you still can wear Jordans and still be respected out here in the fashion world. Um, but nonetheless, man, I'm doing too much talking. Let's, 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 we're gonna get into to three looks, right? I'm gonna give you, I wanna give you a nostalgic look. I wanna give you a uh, walk around chill look. And I'm gonna give you a look that maybe you can wear on the first date or you can, um, I don't know, go go like to a, a, a street fair, an event or something. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Nonetheless, three looks, gonna get into it. And I'll give you one bonus look because uh, there's one bonus look I wanna do because an NBA player recently had a had an Olympic jacket and I wanna show how I styled it, how he color blocking. This is something I haven't seen people doing since I've seen guys wearing it. The easiest way to wear these is obviously red, white, and blue. Yeah, we know. Get a bunch of Olympic apparel. We know that works. But I decided to do color blocking with this one. I did the green pants. Now these green high-waisted pants. These are the giant chinos from J. Crew. Love the way they fit. Um, decided to throw on a, uh, a camp collar shirt from Club Monaco. I've had this shirt for a while. It's different tones of blue. It has the navy blue around the collar. And then it has the, the lighter blue. I like that. Uh, and then the green pants just kind of offset. Now, I'm pretty sure somebody's out there like, ah, I don't like this color. Why would you wear the green pants with this? Well, have you ever seen a plaid pattern called Black Watch? Very famous pattern. Yes, blue, green. Yes, this right here. Um, so it works. It works. That's what, see, that's where I get a lot of inspiration from when it comes to color palettes. You know, you can go to just patterns. They're out there, it works. Um, so that's what I decided to do with this. That's what made me think of the green pants on top of the blue. Kept it real simple, um, tucked in the shirt. You can wear it however you want. You can accessorize it however you want. But this is just a color combo. Now this, this green pant look, this is a look that you could wear on your first date. You know, going to brunch, something like that. You could get this off. You want, you know, kind of impress her. Think, think, think she'll like this. You know, quick little brunch. You know, smooth, but you still kept it comfortable. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I think this one can impress somebody. Let's say the girl you with is a sneakerhead, she definitely be impressed. And you still show that you can, you're a grown man. Now, this look right here, the brown. This is more of my streetwear look, what I, I would say streetwear, but yet I still styled it with these wide leg 1940 uh bronson denim jeans now this is a retro denim jean from uh it's like a, a 1940 style wide leg love how they fit 
like more of a tailored fit. It's high-waisted under the t-shirt. You can't see it, but it's a beautiful silhouette. I like how they fall on top of the pants. Now, if I wanted to leave the pant down, instead of rolling it up, it still would've looked good. But this shirt, let's get into this shirt. This shirt from N1B4. Shout out to N1B4, man. They, they sent me they sent me the shirt that I'm wearing right now, too. Uh, shout out to N1B4. This shirt right here is Cheryl Swoops on the front when she was on a USA team. Can we can we just just really take this in? Fire, that's such a rare photo. Like who thinks to do Cheryl Swoops? And Cheryl Swoops, for everybody out there who, who's not familiar, she's the very first woman to get a sneaker, a signature sneaker. Signature sneaker with Nike. She did it. And it has a quote from her on the back. I like to see people doubt me. I love this. This shirt uh, is kind of a polyester feel. Um, it is, it's definitely dope with these Olympics. And you've seen how that's the only red, white, and blue that I had on the, um, on the outfit. The tan just brings out the pop of blue that's in the sneaker. And then that picture, it just, come on, it just speaks volumes. This is fire to me. I really enjoyed this fit. So this was a nostalgic, this is more retro. This is something unorthodox. This outfit is for the fashion forward guys out there. And um, fashion forward ladies too. I threw on the flare bell bottoms. These are the corduroy joints. Um, but again, that brown, the brown on top of the Jordan the sixes, it's just beautiful. It makes you look down. You're like, oh, we got the 70s joint. Then you look down, you're like, wait a minute. He threw on the sixes? Like, this is a statement outfit. This is an outfit that would get the people talking um, and then throw it on with the neckerchief. Come on, fam. The neckerchief, we, what we doing now? You know, it's neckerchief season for the guys out there. Nonetheless, this is fire uh, to me. I think this is definitely fashion forward. You throw in the white, light white sweater. Keep it simple, no crazy logos. The outfit speaks for itself and you see the Jordans on it and it just looks good with the flair. Like if I'm gonna wear Jordans with some bell bottom pants, why not have the sixes? That's a good choice for anybody I wants to wear. I know the flare, they got the flare jeans. That's kind of common, that's uh, kind of trending right now for the kids and all that. So if you wanna wear certain Jordans, these sixes, the sixes look dope with them. Um, but yeah, that's the three outfits uh, that I, I quick little rundown. Now, I have a, how do you say, honorable mention. This honorable mention is because this guy right here, congratulations, as a Nick fan, I uh, shouldn't even show him any love, but you know, Congratulations to Tyrese Halliburton. There's no hate over here because we, we, the Knicks, we read up this season and we're going to get crazy. But we're not here to talk um, NBA. But let's go Knicks. You already know. Um, but nonetheless, this guy right here threw this special Olympic jacket after winning the gold medal. Congratulations to the whole USA team for winning the gold medal. And went out there and did y'all thing. Um, but he wore this jacket. And this jacket is a statement piece. And But yeah, like I, 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 I seen that and I was just like, no, I can style this way better. Or I would have had him style this way better. Anybody on Tyrese Halliburton team, tell them to holler at me. I would have had you out there because I just so happened to have that jacket. Yes, have the jacket. I have the jacket right here. Uh, had it for, whew, I've had this jacket for years. The Olympic Sixes is kind of an easy no-brainer. I'm not the matchy-matchy guy, but it just... Come on, it's two stainless pieces. You just kind of got to make it work, you know? Uh, nonetheless, here's the fit. So I decided to throw this on with these tan, high-waisted, pleated pants from Bronson. Shout out to Bronson MTG. Yo, check out Bronson MTG. Uh, yeah, again, retro vibe. I think this is a 1930 style, if I'm not mistaken. I've been very heavy into the 19, the 1930s, 40s, that vibe or whatever. Um, I'm just a retro type of dude. And this is just a, this is a, a dress up, dress down type of vibe, modern retro, you know? Um, and that's what this vibe was. The jacket speaks for itself. You throw in the, the jacket. Uh, then you have the khaki, the tan. It just, this actual tan just brings a pop to the outfit. Real simple, get straight to it. Like this is something that's gonna be a statement piece. It's gonna have people stop you in the street. It's gonna have people talk about your jacket. Uh, and that's my outfits, that's my outfits.
Now, some of you out there will be like, why he ain't throw no t-shirt on with no pants, no like shorts or just jeans. I kept it simple, throw some graphic tees on because that's what everybody's gonna do. And I know a lot of, a lot of my audience might have that out there, but uh, nonetheless, I wanted to show you something different. And the inspiration behind these fits, October 2012, GQ put out a, uh, an issue and it was a style book and it had Chris Paul in it. And they styled Chris Paul in the Olympic sixes, but they dressed it up so beautifully. Picture right here. See, he dressed it up. You don't have to wear streetwear just because they're Jordans. They still can look good. And yeah, so that's what kind of inspired me to do this video and inspired my looks uh, in a sense, but also the retro vibe just inspired it. I just want to show how a grown man can get these looks off and not be looked at as like the weirdo kid. Like, oh, you're trying to relive your years. I don't care about none of that. I'm always going to wear Jordans with gray hair. Actually, I got a little gray already, but whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, so that's my looks. I hope you enjoyed. Again, I hope you, uh, if you haven't, you're new here, like and subscribe, please. Uh, and I'm gonna be back, man, more styling videos. Hope you enjoy. Comment down below what look you think is the best. And yeah, how would you have styled it if you already styled it? <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, make sure you follow me at uh, Divine and Conquerors and also follow me at Divine and Conquerors on TikTok and Instagram. You already know what it is. Holla at your boy. Peace.